Hello everyone, my name is MJ and today we're going to be reading some wacky news from across the world. Do you want to hear the headlines? They're the best bits. London YouTuber claims to have been abducted by aliens and fall in love with one of them. Wow. I love a good love story. 85 year old Florida man arrested after trying to buy a child in a grocery store for a hundred grand. That's way overpriced. How 90 day fiance star Stephanie Mato ended up hospitalized after eating too many beans to sell farts. Something about this story doesn't smell right to me. Ah, oh, these puns. <laughs> So we're going to start off with the London YouTuber who's, uh, you know, in love with an alien. Normal, everyday kind of thing. Now, I'm not saying aliens don't exist. I've never seen one. I'm looking forward to reading on. Sick of men on Earth, London actress Abby Bella says that she hopes to normalize interspecies dating. I'm all about progressive qualities. To find a soulmate, London actress Abby Bella looked to the skies. She claims that she fell for an alien after it swept her into its UFO and right off her feet. <laughs> Wait, there's actually video. This <laughs> this is her. Okay, this year a talk. It's my my alien love story. So a few weeks ago, um, and I continued like leaving my door, um, uh, sorry, my window open a little bit. Um, I kind of continued with that. I don't know. It was like almost intuitive. Like somewhere like in my unconscious, I felt that like leaving my window open was like bringing those dreams in. It's so weird because I do that. I'd hope that burglar is going to come in and sweep me off my feet. Give me little kisses and steal me. Steal me. This time I heard a voice. It was like using language I could understand. And it just said, um, meet me tomorrow in the usual place. Look out for me. Again, it was like overwhelmingly beautiful. Again, it was like overwhelmingly beautiful. Like it was music without music. <laughs> It was beautiful. It was close to French. Just like, like flower, just like, like it had a smell, like it, it smelled of flowers. <gasps> the, like that night, I was supposed to not go to sleep at the usual time and I was supposed to look out of my window. Like, look out for them. And I did. Alien floating down like that at 2 a.m. Greased up. No shirt on, alien pecs, but really weird long green nipples. She's into it. Ooh, but the candle. And I looked up through my window and I saw, I, again, like, I know people are gonna think that I'm crazy, but I saw like a classic flying saucer. It's mad that nobody else saw it really, isn't it? So she goes on to say that she actually connected with one of the aliens. She gushed. I didn't get his name, but I felt exactly the same as the little alien with the big long nipples. He said I had to consent to go with them, but I didn't want to say yes in case they took me forever. Aliens ask for consent. They're better than bloody men on earth. Aliens offer an extra quality of care, she said. Men on earth just tell lies and have double standards. Based. Do you want to see what the alien looks like? There's a picture of her with her new alien boyfriend. Do you want to see it? There it is. Now that's love if I've ever seen it. He looks like the strong silent type, doesn't he? So let's get on to the next news story. 85 year old Florida man arrested after trying to buy a child in a grocery store for 100k. There he is. Normal. You got any children for sale? No, you can't do that, sir. Police in Port Orange, Florida arrested an 85 year old man on August 16th after he attempted to buy an eight year old girl in a local Winn-Dixie. The f to win Dixie. As reported by the Washington Examiner, Helmuth Kolb approached the girl's mother, Lauren Benning, and began asking her questions about her daughter. How old is she? Eight. Mm. Where'd she go to school? Is she for sale? He just came up and he started making comments about how pretty she was, Ugh. and how good her dancing was, and how he could never have children, and he wanted children. Her opinion changed, however, when Kolb chased her down in the parking lot and allegedly told her, Hey, I want to make a deal with you. I'd like to buy your baby. <laughs> 100k. Imagine being chased in a parking lot by an old guy who wants to buy your kid for 100k. And you really need the money and you're thinking about it. What's his number? Ben and said his offer left her in complete shock. When bystanders intervened, Kolb reportedly laughed at them. 
Police arrived and found Kolb sitting on a bench outside the grocery store when they questioned Kolb about why he tried to purchase the child. He allegedly responded, We all like kids. At least he's honest. Actually, I dislike most of them, they get on my nerves. And I certainly don't want to buy any! Due to the parents' clear concern that someone was insistent on attempting to purchase their daughter in a grocery store, we were notified. Unfortunately for him, we were able to confirm that his probation officer, Mr. Kolb, is currently on probation for similar issues. Oh Christ. He's not to have any contact with minor children. Mr. Cobb should have simply stuck to just grocery shopping and not eight-year-old girl shopping. Kolb, unbeknownst to Benning at the time, was already a registered sex offender and on probation for a similar charge in 2018 when he attempted to purchase a different child. The 2018 incident involved Kolb grabbing a young girl at Walmart, kissing her wrist and offering to buy her for 200 grand. If I was this new mother, I'd be kind of questioning why mine's only worth half that. Is it might they don't dance good enough or what? Are they too ugly? But explain yourself, Mr. Kolb. I don't want to know what this move is indicating. As part of his probation, Kolb was forbidden to have contact with minors other than family members or to go into large stores without supervision. Oh, for Christ's sake, just put him in a cage. Police are asking anyone who had a similar experience with Kolb to contact them. And just imagine someone calling up, yeah, actually, yeah, we did. And they offered us 300 grand. Unlucky. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> Not really, I'm kidding. How 90 Day Fiancé star Stephanie Mato ended up hospitalised after eating too many beans to sell farts. This is the story you've all been waiting for. And this stinks of hypocrisy. Fart. Stephanie Mato sold a jarred flatulence for a grand apiece. How much do you think people would pay for my farts? Because I would sell them. Made over 200 grand in a two month venture. She made 200 grand in two months. Farting in jars. She was subsisting on a diet of yogurt, eggs and beans and ended up in the hospital when she thought she was having a heart attack. It was a fart attack. <laughs> St <laughs> Stephanie Marta was an influencer, YouTuber, author and farter and star of TLC's 90 Day Fiancé, Farts. But she recently launched a new business venture after realising demand was high for a rather unorthodox product. Poopy stinks. This November, she found lucrative part-time work bottling and selling her own farts until things went terribly wrong. That's her. Wait, is that poo in there? Is she selling poopies? Aw, oh, the world's nuts. How much? I'm kidding, no way. <laughs> no way! <sighs> How lonely must you be in this world to go online and buy her farts for a grand? You could just go around sniffing bus seats instead of paying for it. Come on, that's logic. For two months, she spent her days farting into glass jars with flower petals, adorning in the inside, and shipping them to fans. Remarkably, Mato was making 50 grand a week in December through fart sales alone, and eventually sold more than 200 grand's worth of farts worldwide through the adult website Ulfiltered. What does that mean? Is the word fart in there somewhere? But in January 2021, Mato was hospitalized for what she thought was a heart attack. How is she gonna keep her customers happy with farts if she dies? But her heart attack turned out to be a dangerous buildup of gas in her body from her flatulence-inducing diet. And now she says her fart selling days are behind her. Ah, oh, behind her. Don't make poopy puns. In December 2020, Stephanie Mato told BuzzFeed, I think my main motivation was money. Really? It wasn't like a charity thing to just help out people that really needed your farts up their nose. Get off. I, but I also thought it would be an hilarious publicity move that would get a lot of people's attention. All I had to do to get a career was fart in jars. <laughs> she detailed in an Instagram video she almost exclusively ate beans, eggs and protein muffins. You gotta get a bit of protein muffin in your body if you want to do jarry farts. That's what I've always said. That's her in hospital. It was a terrible scare. You think you got it bad? Ooh, look at me, I have to work 40 hours a week in a garage just to pay the bills. Well, this woman has to eat beans and fart in jars. Now's got it bad. What? <laughs> 
As luck would have it, once I put the jars up for sale, they began to sell like hot farts. I mean, hot cakes. She said, I honestly could not believe the demand. I think a lot of people have this fetish in secret. I began this venture by eating mostly protein muff muffs, shakes, and also hard boiled eggs for farties. I could tell that something was not right that evening when I was laying in bed and I could feel the pressure in my stomach moving upward, she said. That rhymed. Is this a poem? It's a Christmas fart poem. It was quite hard to breathe, and every time I tried to breathe in, I'd feel a pinching sensation around my heart from the fart. And that, of course, made my anxiety escalate. Oh, she had a jarry fart anxiety Christmas poo attack. Who's that? F off. I actually called my friend and asked that they could come over to drive me to the hospital because I thought I was experiencing a heart attack. It was made clear that what I was experiencing wasn't a stroke or heart attack. It was a fart attack. Oh, Jesus. F the world caught wind of this on January 4th. Don't keep doing poopy puns. After the 31-year-old announced that she would no longer be farting into jars and shipping them around the country. There she is. Sorry, guys. I've had to give up my very illustrious, hard-working career of of farty jars. I'm so disappointed, but now you can buy my piss on eBay. Even so, Stephanie Marto remains generous. She plans to donate a portion of her income to a charity that focuses on gastric disorders. How thoughtful. And resourceful, intended to pivot to sell in digital NFT farts instead of real whiffs. I don't like the world anymore. <laughs> it actually comes at a good time because the fart business was both physically and mentally exhausting. <laughs> you know that society is doomed when the career of farting in jars for 50 grand a week is too demanding. That's where we are in 2023. That's the news, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it today. I just felt like doing something different. If you had a good time, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which story you liked the best. Do you have any weird stories you'd like to share me? Maybe I'll read them out in a video. Share them with me. Please. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Thank you, dudes. Peace.